the shipping industry transport cargo through the designated ocean routes. According to the history books, the shipping industry was dominated by the merchants during the 19th century. Since then, the industry continued its growth all over the world. It became the catalyst for economic development as it facilitates 90% of the world trade. The main mechanisms for the shipping industry to be effective are the ships and the merchant marine professionals. The ship's main purpose is to transport vast amount of different type of cargoes. It goes like this, loading the cargo, navigation and bring it to the destination, and discharge it. And that falls to the hands of the deck officers and the whole deck department. Hello there guys, welcome back to my channel. Now this video is the second episode from my last vlog, which merchant marine career is right for you. Now the last vlog, we were talking about the merchant marine engineering. And now, we will go to the upper part of the ship, the Merchant Marine Transportation, or the Deck Department, my department. Bachelor of Science in Marine Transportation is the career path to become a Deck Officer up to the Merchant Marine Master Mariner, or the Captain of the Ship. The Captain has the overall command of the ship, and the second command is the chief officer or the chief mate which is my current rank on board. The deck department is divided into two sub departments, the deck ratings and deck officers. Deck ratings are the bosun, able-bodied seaman, and ordinary seaman. Then the deck officers or mates are the third mate, second mate, and the chief mate. The chief mate is the head of the deck department. Just like the engine department, you will start from the bottom to the top and need to pass through these positions on board. If you are not a cadetship program, this is going to be your journey to the top. Normally from cadet, ordinary seaman, able-bodied seaman, then the third mate, second mate, chief mate, and the captain. However, if you are part of a cadetship program from the company, you will not pass anymore onto the deck ratings. Depending on the program of the company, from a cadetship, you have the chance to be promoted to a junior officer if you pass the performance level being expected from you. This is the normal ladder for the ratings to officers on board. So I will give you an overview of the duties and responsibilities of the deck department because each officer and rating have plenty of duties and responsibilities on board. So the deck department is responsible for loading and discharging of cargoes and navigating the ship to its destinations safe and sound. During those operations, the deck department should make sure that the ship's stability is maintained Stability means the state of being stable, the strength to endure the stress given by heavy cargoes and the big waves along the way, or the ability of the ship to go back to its upright position when disturbed by waves, winds, or any other outside forces. If the ship is unstable, it could break, capsize, and eventually sink. Ballasting operation means using the seawater to load or discharge in or from the tanks on board is part of maintaining the stability of the ship. This is particular responsibility of the chief officer. Deck officers or mates are in charge of the safe navigation of the vessel, which means keeping the ship safe from collisions, elisions, groundings, storms and hurricanes, pirates and armed robbers, and all other dangers that could harm the ship. The chief 
second and third mates have a total of 8 hours watchkeeping duties divided into two watches during navigation. So the safety of the crew, ship and its cargo and the marine environment are on the shoulders of the deck officer in his particular watch hours. Deck officers are also called officer on watch or OOW. So if you compare the vessel to airplanes, the ship's OOW are more like the pilots. The deck officers also operate different kinds of navigational equipment and have to maintain its operability to make sure that it is always in good working condition. Deck officers are also in charge for the maintenance of the safety equipment of the vessel, which are the firefighting equipment and the life-saving appliances. Deck officers and ratings are in charge of the whole maintenance of the ship's main deck, deck equipment, and the superstructures. But the deck ratings are the ones who performs the maintenance works on the deck, like the rusting, painting, greasing, cleaning, etc. with the supervision of the chief mate. After discharging of cargoes, deck department also had to clean the ship's cargo holds or tanks for tanker ships from the residue of the previous cargo to make sure that it is ready to load before arriving at the loading port. Deck department is also responsible for anchoring operations during arrival or departure or whenever the ship needs to anchor and stay in an area. Mooring operations like berthing and unberthing are also the responsibility of the deck department to safely put the vessel alongside and or leave the port with the help of a local pilot who is also a captain. Deck department is also responsible for the security of the ship either in port or at sea. When in port, all visitors such as stevedores, port authorities, port state control inspectors, etc. will also be handled by the deck department. English communication is very important for the deck department as we are responsible for communications between the ship and the shore. Documents and paperwork are plenty on board. Seafarers have to follow the safety management system of the company and any other regulations in the maritime industry. Duties and responsibilities of the deck department will all fall to the captain of the ship. As I have mentioned earlier, he is the overall in command, overall in charge and responsible for the whole ship. He's the one who direct the vessel in all aspects. So guys, everyone can be a deck officer or a marine engineer. It doesn't matter what you chose or what you will choose for the merchant marine profession. If you join the vessel, you will be zero. Everything can be or will be learned practiced or mastered on the vessel no matter what type of vessel it is as for me it wasn't even my dream to be a seafarer i wanted to be a nurse it's a long story but i'll share it with you on my future vlogs anyway guys i hope this video is informative and i am glad that i'm sharing this with you thank you for watching and don't forget to click like subscribe and hit the bell icon for you to be updated on my next vlogs. See you next time!